So my name is Julman Botino, and today I will be explaining how to use um, two uh, different genome comparison tools to compare to compare genome sequences between two organisms. The organisms that we'll be using are Staphylococcus aureus MRSA 252 and Staphylococcus aureus MSSA 476. The genome comparison tools that we'll be using are Island Viewer, uh, which link is provided here, and Patrick, which uh, is a protein comparison tool. Um, so these um, these tools can be used in, can also be found by just um, um, typing their names on Google and doing a quick search to find the main website. Uh, the first one that I'm going to use and explain in this video is the Island Viewer one, which you already look up here. Um, so you, I got it from the link that the professor provided, but I also type, type this in Google, Island Viewer Pathogenomics. And besides providing me, providing me a paper in the MCBI website about, about the, um, about it. Uh, it also uh, provided me with a link to the main website. So this Island Viewer is uh, is a widely used uh, web server for the prediction for the prediction uh, an interactive uh, visualization of genomic island. Uh, genomic island. Um, if you if you haven't heard from that um, the term before, it is a part of a genome that has evidence of horizontal origins. Um, it is. Um, and the uh, a, gen a genomic a genomic island can encode for many functions and they can be involved in symbiosis or pathogenesis and they may help um, organisms adaptation and survive um, um, so as i this is the main website of island viewer 4 if you're looking for a specific organism for the genome what you can do is you can you can quickly type the name here uh, the first one that we will use is uh, MRSA uh, 252 and it will pop up right there. You should be able to click on it and then just you can press enter or just go to genome and it will show this immediately, a visualization of the genome with uh, different prediction methods. Something that I didn't mention before is that this um, tool will use different prediction methods uh, which provide different type of information. If you're interested in understanding what type of information, you can, you can go here, it, it tells you. It is a computational tool that integrates four different genomic island prediction methods. Here you have the name, Island Pig, Island Path, uh, D-I-M-O-B. CG, HMMM, and Islander. So if you're looking for more information about it, you go to Frequently Asked Questions right here, and you have a lot of questions that can tell you, for example, which method um, is the preferred method. You go, heal, you go here, and then it tells you about it, and then if, you're, if you want like more specific information, you just click in here, to understand like how the different methods work and what type of information they will provide you each website has like they have like their their uh, they will tell you they have the, the and, and they should have a user guide for you to understand how to use the the the, the tools within the system within the, the software in case that you don't understand something so coming back to the results from the cephalococcus aureus um, MRSA M, uh, or MRSA 252. Here you can see the complete genome. Uh, if you click on the different genes, you'll find more information. I mean, if you click on the different um, results here, you'll, you, you'll find the prediction method that was used. It, it, it is color coded. As you can see here, this uh, pink, pink color tells you that it's a homologous of resistant genes. You also have cur curated resistant genes and it'll give you the gene name, it'll give you the accession number, it'll also tell you about the product of the gene. You can exit that um, window, and if you scroll down, 
you'll see more information, like more detailed inf information, um, um, like like the genomic island prediction method that was used. It is also color coded right here, integrated method for red and then blue for island path. And as you know, as it follows there with the colors. If you click on the view, it will take you to the main, to the main uh, visual and it'll give you the same information as I showed before. You can even click on the accession number and it'll take you to the NCBI website where you can find more information. For this one, there isn't, there is, there's a reference sequence. You click there and it'll take you to whatever information is associated with that. And you can just keep, you know, going and read into this and get the faster sequ um, the sequence in the faster format and so on. Um, if, if you want to, if now, you can keep like looking through these different like links and see the type of information that you get. As you can see, you can see different resistant genes and the colors are only to specify the type of um, prediction method that was used. If you want to compare or visualize two genomes, um, you go on the left side um, of the window or, and, and, and you can see that this toolbox here, you're gonna click on visualize two genomes. Uh, then it will ask you uh, for the name uh, of the of the second genome, and we know that it is MSSA four seventy six. It will show there. You click on it, and then you click display genome. And this uh, may take a few seconds, but you should be able to see two visuals. Of the two genomes there you go now we have the two visuals on the left we have the first um, genome that we looked up and on the right the new genome and you know you can see here all the genes and even like a description of their uh, function you can get the sequence genes the proteins and there was a um, there is a way to see like a description of the gene, but this is how you compare two genomes here. And by clicking on the different links, you'll see you'll find different information. And let's see, you can download all the data if you wish. Um, you can, you know, go through the through the whole genome. Here you have the whole genome. You can expand it. You can zoom out, zoom, zoom in, and that's how you use this. Um, this is how you use this um, website. If you have more information, you can go through the user guide. The other um, tool is the Patrick tool. The Patrick tool is the Path System Resource Integration Center, which uh, a, 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 it will it will give you integrated data. Uh, it will provide integrated data in, in analysis tools to um, help you do research or biomedical research. Um, the way that it works is that you can you can upload your own data and then um, you can compare that data with public data out there, uh, public databases using, using uh, visual analytic tools. So for this one, you will have to create an account. I, I had to create an account, I use my name, sec my last name, my email address, username, and the organization, um, and then you click register, it will send you an email, you confirm the email, and then you're all set. It's really simple. And once you have your account, you have to log in here. You want to log in. As you see, I'm signing as Julman B. My first name, Julman, my last name, Botino. And then if you want to compare, if we, we want to compare two genomes, we're going to go to here, compare. Um, and we will look into protein comparison. You click there, and now here is like the is it's a little more complex than the other um, tool, but it's very easy to like it's no nothing difficult. And if you're confused or anything, you can go to uh, 
you can see the tutorial. Um, let me see where I found the tutorial for this. Here you go. Okay, this is the main website. In the main website, you will see down here that you, you can find the tutorials, the user guides, webinars, and command, command line interface in case that you don't know how to do something. You open the tutorial, open link in the new tab, and it will take you here. And here it will show you step by step how to do like how to do anything that you're interested in, like how to compare genomes. Uh, for example, this is how to like uh, do like genome assembly, and it will give you a description of that. It will tell you how to you know how to like locate the assembly service app, and it will walk you it will walk you step by step how to do it. It's very detailed. It, it's giving you images. It's telling you uh, what to do next, what to what's gonna happen when you click there or or not. It will show you when something is like I'm running complete or the percentage of the complete work. And you know, here you'll find all the information you need in case you don't know how to do something. So we want to compare the uh, genome sequences. We go to protein comparison. Once we're in, in protein comparisons, we have the parameters uh, window, we have the reference genome window, and the comparison genomes. So in the parameters, you want to create a folder, like a main folder, where you want your information to go, like your work. In this case, for me, this is a genome comparison comparison activity. What I did was I was I created a new folder. You create a new folder, you name it, and then you do you click create folder. Once you have it, mine was genome comparison activity. I click in there and then I, I did double click and then you press OK and you see that your name, the name of the folder will display here. And then you want to have the, you want to give it a name for the output, output uh, uh, file. It will produce a file. Once you, you, you do your comparison, it will produce a file with all the details. You can do like um, MRSA 252 uh, versus uh, MSSA uh, 476. That's going to be the name of your file. And then and the reference in the reference genome um, uh, window, you're going to type the name of the um, organism you're interested in. Like before, um, it'll show you here. It'll show pop up there. You click there. And then you can you also have the option of like if you don't know the name of the organism, the name of the strain, or if you only have the sequence in FASTA format, you can upload your file here. You're gonna click on this uh, folder, and then you're gonna look up your file. Um, you can also do like a picture group in case that you don't have the name or the past of the sequence in FASTA format. Um, so now in the comparison genomes um, window, you have to like um, specify the organism that you want to use to compare. So in our case, it's MSSA 476. And you're going to click here. And the first one, we have three different ones. I, I use the first one. And then, so you have the same options here. You can use the protein sequence in the FASTA format or two different options. Um, once you, you enter the name, you're gonna, you need to make sure that you click on this sign, the plus sign, so it is out of here. And then you're going to click Submit. Once you click Submit, it will, be, it will start running. It will start producing, doing the protein comparison. And for you to find it, you can go, if we go to the website again, let's say that we're in the main website, you, you go to, for you to find your results, you need to go to workspace and you go to my jobs. As you see, I had it, uh, I had done this before and that work was complete, but it takes like a few minutes. So the one that we just did is still running, but this one is already here. You can double click and access the access the information and you're going to be here you can see um, all the data that were produced if you want to see the genome uh, if you want to see the 